Okay, so this is the video for using the Apple TV to connect the iPad to the projector. At first, you gotta turn on the projector. I mean, yeah, you gotta turn it on if you want it to work. And then you also gotta wait for it to warm up and wait for the blue screen to appear, where it's ready for to where it's ready to accept some inputs. Epson, exceed your vision. I don't know what that means. And it should be there. Yep. Okay. Yep. There we go. It's, now it's ready to accept some inputs. Let's go to the Apple TV. Now at the Apple TV, for to wake it up in a sense, you gotta take out that power plug in the back, right beside that. There's a squiggly symbol. That's where the power plug goes. You just gotta take it and rip it out. It's a bit of a pull, or you know, I might just be weak and not be able to take it out. Who knows? Then you gotta plug it back in and that just wakes it back up. Then once you got it plugged in, you see that blinking light right down there? Gotta wait for it to be solid, a solid white light, and then that means it is good to go. Look at that. Solid. Now that you got your solid white light, you can plug in the HDMI cable. Now you gotta find your handy dandy HDMI cable. Here's mine, right there. There you go. Then you gotta plug that in right into the back of the Apple TV. Yep, right there. Now, once you've plugged that in, let's head back to the projector. On the projector, you hit source search. It's gonna search for your source. It should be HDMI 2 because that's how it's plugged in on the projector. Once it finds that, there it is. It's it displays the airplay of the Apple TV controller. Now the Apple TV name is also displayed, so now head to your iPad. On your iPad, swipe down to your control center, hit screen mirroring, and you should be able to see your Apple TV on there. Select your Apple TV, and then there should be a code that appears on the projector. Type in that code on your iPad, and that should connect your iPad to the Apple TV. And your iPad is now mirrored onto the projector. Then once you're done, you just swipe down your control center again, and then stop mirroring, and you're good to go. But as always, you gotta make sure you turn off the projector. And how do you do that? You press the power button not once, but you gotta press it twice. Pressing it once just shows up a menu saying, are you sure you wanna close this? Then you just press it again if you're sure you want to close it. And that's how you connect your Apple TV there. Also, once you're done, you might want to take out the HDMI cable. Just so you don't leave it in there. I don't know what that was.